Nataka tu munisaidie kupiga makofi Tukaweza kumkalibisha mtumishi wa mungu Wakati anapo tuletea neno Na ili tukawa kubalikiwa Amen, amen Thank you so much God bless you Sikabla niendele tuombe na wala ambayo Sasa nisadimieni kwa mkono Hallelujah Na washukuru sana kwa sababi ya kuja kanisani Na kuchagua kanisa hiri kama kanisa lako la familia nyumbani. May the Lord bless you. Na chochote ambayo inayo neno katika madhabahu haya. Si mpoke kwa tika jina la Yesu. Amen. I want to talk a little bit about the benefits of leading the world's, leading God's word. Benefit of leading God's word. Faida ya kusoma neno la buwana. Amen. Bwana asifie kanisa. Hallelujah. Feet of leading God's word. Mm -hmm. God, God promises certain things to those who take the time each day to get him, to get to him through his word. Yani mungu wana anatuahidi ana mambo mengine na mengi kwa wale ambaye wanao pata na fasi ya kusoma neno la mungu na kulierewa. Na siyo kusoma tu, hata kuwa nini watendaji wa hilo neno. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I'll go straight to the, to the point so that we may pray because after this uh, our sister church our sister church the, uh, this is Bethel Victory Church they are launching a church at Rangaranga to dedicate the church hallelujah and uh, so I'll go to the state of the word the benefits of reading God's word First, number one, your first benefit, you receive joy. Unapokea furaha. Hallelujah. Unapo soma neno la mungu. Kitu ya kwanza, unapokea furaha. In Jeremiah chapter 15 and verse 16. Jeremiah chapter number 15 and verse 16. Inasema hivi. When your ones came, I ate them. They were my joy, and my heart felt, my heart's delight, for I bear your name, Lord God Almighty. Wakati neno la mungu lirimujia, alimeza, aliikula. The Bible says, I ate it. Hallelujah. Wakati hilo neno lirepo kuja, alimeza and they were my joy so unapo soma neno la mungu unapokea furaha praise the name of the lord when your ones came I ate them they were my joy and my heart's delight for I bear your name lord God almighty huyu ni Jeremiah alipo kumbuka ya kwamba mwanzoni alikuwa na shida na mwitu amba alikuwa maito nae Lakini bibili nasema kwamba mungu wakamuambia nimekujua tangu wakati ulipo dungu wakati kamimba e, e, tumbo ya mama yako. Nilikujua. Nika point to her. Before I formed you in the war womb, I knew. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nation. So, haripo verse 6 nasema, Sovereign Lord, I said, I do not know how to speak. I'm too young. Lakini verse chapter 15, akaelewa ya kwamba, neno la mungu lazima arisome. Hallelujah. So, lazima you have to learn to, to, to read the word of God and to understand the word of God so that it may turn to be a joyful to you. Hallelujah. Ata yesu mwenye akasema katika 
John 16, 24. Until now, you have not asked for anything in my name. John 16, verses 24. Until now, you have not asked for anything in my name. Ask and you will receive and your joy will be complete. Ukinapo uliza, unapo soma neno abana. Yesu wakasema, hata wakati kama huu, haujaniomba. You have not asked for anything, but ask and you will receive and your joy will be complete. Praise the name of the Lord. Mapenzi ya mungu katika katika mtu ya mungu amba a son or a son of a son of God. Ni ni upate furaha. Amen. Si owe complain or complain and kila wakati ku complain. Lakini ama to be groomy. Hallelujah. You just have this joy of the Lord in yourself. Hallelujah. Unajua kuna maisha ambaye in maisha ingine ya you live a groomy face. You live a sad, a sad, a sad life. But the mapenzi ya mungu ni kwamba you receive joy. Praise the name of the Lord. May you receive the joy of God. Because you have already studied the word of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Si mungu wape hiyo fraya ya yake. Katika maisha yako. Ata kama hauna pesa. Ata kama unapitia katika jambu ngumu. Ata kama ni magonjo unapitia. But the joy of the Lord may be, may be on your side. In Jesus' name. Number two, the benefit of reading the word of God is you will receive strength. Utapokea nguvu. Stability. I mean, you receive strength. Amen. Unapo soma neno rabana, utapokea strength. Strength in nguvu. In Acts chapter number 20, verses that two. Acts Matenda Mitume, chapter 20, start with Radina Mbiri. In Asema Hibi. Now I commit you to God and to the word of his grace, which can build you up and give you an inheritance among all those who are sanctified, which can build you up. Other version says, which can strengthen you. Amen. You are committed. Uh, now I commit you to God and to the word of his grace. And to the word of his grace. The book gives you a quick story to in Basi, sasa naweka katika mikono ya mungu. Hata nami naweka katika mikono ya mungu. Na kwa neno la neema yake. Ili neno likuwe ni ne, kwa neema ya mungu. Ambaro laweza kuwa jenga. Uh-huh. Kuwa jenga na kuwa paurithi pamoja na wote walio takaso. Praise the name of the Lord. So, unapo wekwa katika mikononi mwabwana. By the word of God, you shall be strengthened. Hallelujah. Simpoke nguvu hizo za neno la Bwana katika jina la Yesu. Pahari umeshukwa chini. Pahari umeshushwa chini. May the Lord uplift you. May your heart be raised. Praise the name of the Lord. Upoke nguvu ya Bwana kwa sababu ya neema ya Mungu. Kwa sababu sasa nawaweka katika mikono ya Mungu. Amen yake. Hili neno ni it is by his grace. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And number three, ni kwamba, you will receive peace. Utapokea amani. Amen. Number one, you will utapokea nini fraha. You will receive joy. And number two, you will receive strength. Amen. And number three, you will receive peace. Utapokea amani. Amen. Katika kitabu cha zaburi, mia na kuminatisa. Zaburi mia na kumilatisa. Mstari wa 165. Psalms 119 verses 165. Bibiria inasema Great peace have those who love your law. And nothing can make them stubble. Great peace 
are those who love your law. Sheria za Bwana ni neno la Bwana. Amen. Sheria za Bwana it is the word of God. Praise the name of the Lord. So neno nasema kwamba those who love your law have great peace and nothing can cause them stubble. Ukiwa na amani hautajikwa. Hautajikwa. Amen. So if you love the benefit of reading the word of God and understanding the word of God is that number three, is it number three? It will give you peace. Amen. You shall receive peace. Simungu apea hiyo amani. Na amani ni kitu muhimu sana. Amani katika nyumba yako. Amani katika biashara yako. I declare and declare and declare that the peace of God you shall never stumble again katika jina la Yesu. Shout amen. amen. So number three, you receive, you receive what? Number four, you receive stability. Hile ingine ilikuwa strength. Sasa hii ni stability. Stability ni ya kwamba how tatingizika you have feet of reading the word of God. You shall receive stability. Psalms chapter 16 verses 8 and 9. Psalm 16 verses 8 and 9. I keep my eyes always on the Lord with him at my right hand. I will not be shaken. Therefore, my heart is grand and my tongue rejoices. My body also will rest secure. The, the other version says, I have set the Lord always before me. Always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I will, be sh I will not be shaken. Therefore, my heart is grand and my tongue rejoices, rest in hope. So, mungu hatafanya utingizike. You shall be, receive stability. Stability ni kusema ya kwamba, how tatingizika na other doctrines. Amen. How tatingizika, hata ukiletewa mafunzo wa imbaya siyo akiungu. Amen. Hallelujah. May the Lord make you mature with his word so that you may receive stability. Those who are mature in the, in the, in the, in the word, Bibiria nasema ya kwamba, hawanyonyi, hawachukunyi maziwa tena. Amen. And I believe you people, ni watu ya mahende, mifupa, chakura ngumu, so you may you receive stability. In Jesus' name, I declare that you receive stability. Amen. Number five, I have seven. Number five, you will be successful and prosperous. You will be successful and prosperous. You will be successful and prosperous. When you read the word of God, you will be successful and prosperous. Joshua chapter 1 verses 8. Joshua chapter 1 verses 8. Stand at this book of instructions continually. Meditate on it day and night. So, you will be sure to obey everything written on it. Only then, you will prosper and succeed in all you do. But study this book of instruction. The book of instructions in Kumba is the book of law, is the Bible, is the word of God. Amen. So Joshua can be a kwamba iri and awiri, so that he may prosper, so that he may be successful. He has to get hold of the book of the, the, the word of God. Hallelujah. The book end of verse is nine. This is my courage. This is my command. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Lakini verses 8, nasema, you will 
prosper and you will be successful. So, by reading the word of God and understanding the word of God, hallelujah, then you will be prosperous and successful. See, may the Lord prosper you. May the Lord make you prosper. May the Lord make you prosper and make you uh, successful. Watu ambayo wamekuwa wame prosper ni kwamba mambo yote wanapojaribu kufanya inaendelea ina nawiri. Hallelujah. Hakuna kusema kwamba na mambo yule ambaye anasoma neno la Bwana asema anapobarikiwa asema ni kidore. Atia na kidore mzuri sana. Atia alilalishia kuku mayai ikatoboa zote na kidole. It, it is by the, faith, the grace of God. Hallelujah. It is by the grace of God ya kwamba God is making it to be prosper, to prosper and to be successful. Praise the name of the Lord. Say, may you receive that prosperity in your work in praise, in your home. May you be successful in all what you do. Katika jina Yesu. And number six, number six, benefit ya kusoma neno labana, your prayer will be answered. Hallelujah. Your prayer will be answered. So number six is that uh, your prayer will be answered. Now, uh, John chapter 15, verses number seven. John 15, verses seven. If you remain in me and my ones remain in you, do you get this one? If you remain in Christ and the word of God remains in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. Praise the name of the Lord. That means, Yakwamba, your prayer will be answered. If you only read the word of God, if the word of God is remains in you, you shall, uh, then your prayer will be answered. If you remain in me and my word remain in you, you will ask whatever you de desire. Chochote amba una desire. Au jafungio chochote amba una itaji. Anything that you desire, provided the word of God remains in you. Hallelujah. Provided the word of God remains in, is it and yako. Then, whatever you ask in prayer shall be answered. Now may the Lord answer your prayers. In the name of Jesus. Since from the morning when we came, tuliongozo maombezi ya kuchiombea, kuombea kanisa, kuombea toto wetu, si mungu ajibu wewe sasa. Katika jina ya Yesu. My prayer today, ni ya kwamba maombezi yote umeomba siku ya leo, mungu wa kujibu. If only you remain in the Lord, and the word of God remains in you, ask whatever, whatever, chochote, Whatever means chochote, there is no limit. Amen. Hakuna limit ya kusema kwamba unataki uombe kitu frani. Hallelujah. And it will be done for you. May the Lord answer your prayer today. In Jesus' name. And the last one. When the benefit of reading the word of God. The word of God is sweet. Neno la mungu inakuwa the word of God is is sweet hallelujah pare mwanzo tulisikia kwamba jeremaya ali kura neno la mungu likawa joy amen naye kuna mwingine hapa naitwa ezekiel ezekiel chapter 3 verses 1 to 3 ezekiel chapter 3 verses 1 to 3 And he said to me, Son of man, eat what is before you. Eat this scroll. Scroll ni neno labana. Amen. Then go and speak to the people of Israel. Kwa hivyo, wezi neno na watu kama ujakula neno labana. You cannot preach without the word of God in you. Hallelujah. So, I opened my mouth 
and he gave me the scroll to eat. Alipeo neno akakula. Kama vile Jeremiah alikula nini? Neno. Na likawa furaha katika maisha yake. Sasa huyu alipeo neno akakula. Then he said to me, son of man, eat this scroll I'm giving you and fill your stomach with it. So I ate it and it tasted as sweet as honey in my mouth. Praise the name of the Lord. May that word of God change to be sweet and sunny in your mouth. Praise the name of the Lord. So the word of God is sweet whenever you eat it, whenever you read it. Is the benefit for, there is a benefit of reading the word of God. Ata katika Ezekiel chapter 2, verse 7. In a sermon of Magani. Ezekiel chapter 2, verse 7. You must speak my words to them. Whether they listen or fail to listen, for they are rebellious. So, alipo kula neno rabwana, aliambio, lazima wende unene hile neno. Amen. Whether people write set or they don't, wanene. Si mungu wajaze neno raki katika tumbu zenu. Na katika mawazo yanu. So that you now don't be just listeners only, but be dwellers of the word. Praise the name of the Lord. Ata kuna mingine amba anaitua, anaitua John. John, one of the apostles. In Revelation chapter 9, chapter 10, verses 9. Revelation chapter 10, verses 9 to 11. Revelation. So, I went to the angel and asked him to give me the little scroll. And Mambia scroll ni nini? It is the word of God. It is the word of God. Amen. He said to me, take it and eat it. It will turn your stomach so, but in your mouth it will be as sweet as honey. Verse 10. I took the little scroll from the angel's hand and ate it. It tasted as sweet as honey in my mouth. But when I had eaten it, my stomach turned so. Verses 11. Then I was told, you must prophesy again about many peoples, nations, languages, and kings. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Neno Rabana Sema, Akambiwa, Achukue Yule Scroll, Kikojo, Kikojo ni Neno Rabana. Akambiwa, Achukue Aikule, Katika verses 9. Amen. Aripo ambio hivo, Akachuku, and Akapeo Mawaida. Akambiwa Kwamba, Unapo Ikula, Katika Mdomo Wako, Itakua Utam. Lakini Katika Tumbolako, Itakua, ita, Itaanza Kuralamika, Ama ku. Fana mna gani? Kwa asha asha. Kwa nini ya asha asha? Unapo pata neno rabwana, unahitaji pahari ya kuitoa. Amen. Unaitoa kwa familia. Unaisema kwa watu ambayo unapatana na wao. Unaitoa kanisani. Unaitolea wewe mwenye. Yani unaishuhudia wewe mwenye. Can you go back to verse 10, 9? Amen. I went to the angel. Okay. He said to me, Take and take it and eat it. It will turn your stomach so, but in your mouth it will be as sweet as honey. So in kumanisha kwamba unapo kula neno rabana nali unapo risoma. There are benefits, yes. But and adikwa na peo maonyo akwamba utakapo kwa inakula akuwa utam katika ulini. Lakini takapo ingia takapo ingia katika tumbo. Okay, in your mouth it will be as sweet as honey. Verse 10. And verse 10 says, I took the scroll from the angel's hand and ate it. It tasted as sweet as honey in my mouth. Serikuwa meambia kwamba itakuwa kama asari katika ulimi wake. Lakini ilipo ingia kwa tumbo, ikawa nini? But when I had eaten it, my stomach turned so. What does it mean, this, this one? In a, in a, in a tuonyesha, ya kwamba, unapo koma katika 
neno la bwana amen hawezi tingizisho tena na unapokoma katika neno la bwana ni kama mtoto ambaye anaingia katika tumbo ya mama si anapokoma lazima atoke amen haleluya na akapewa mawaidha akaambiwa utakapo itakapo kuwa inawashawasha katika tumbo sasa ondoka mstari wa 11 uondoke then it, i was told you must prophesy again about many people uende uhubirie hebu tani tukiri hebu badisha kwa Kiswahili basi sileve mhm akaniambia imekupasa kutoa unabii tena juu ya watu wa taifa la watu wa taifa watu wa taifa ni watu ambao wajajuana na Kristo amen so ni vizuri unapo kusoma neno la bwana isikae tunaye do not benefit yourself only amen a time comes when you go outside to preach the word and that's the reason mwaka hii Mungu atakatuagiza tuenende nje tukahubiri ijiri sijui kama umefanya hivyo unajua mwisho wa mwaka tunarudisha return amen watu wangapi umehubiria mataifa ngapi umehubiria kwa matendo yako ama kwa ulimi wako hallelujah i know there you cannot say big amen praise the name of the lord hallelujah kanisa ni watu wangapi umehubiria ulisoma umefunzo kutoka januari hadi sasa mwezi wa 11 ni na hiyo neno imeingia katika mawazo yako imeingia katika ulimi wako ilikuwa mtamu sana ndiye poingia katika tumbo kwa, kwa nini haikomai haleluya si Mungu akusaidie may the lord help us when that word gets into our cell into our belly ianze kuwa kuwa so iwaanze kuwashawasha so that we toy amen ati hata unapoenda kusema hapo nje unasema leo tulihubiria juu ya benefit of leading the word of god and number one, tukaambia utapata nini fra amen and number two, kaambia utapata nini strength and number three, you shall get peace and number four, to get stability number five, you shall be prospered you shall prosper and be and number six, you have your prayers and the last one the word of god is sweet but it is sweet when you talk to, you prophesy to the to the nation amen na sio how to verses 11b ya ya yale tumesoma revelation 10:11 inasema bila sema you prophesy to the nation and then to the many people na kwa ruga na wafalme wengi wafalme wafalme ni kusema nini unajua kuna wafalme wa, wa nchi hizi sio mfalme president kuna wafalme wa gizani kuna wafalme wa kawaida amen na unakubarishwa una kwenda kuwahubiria kuwatoa katika gizani praise the name of the lord remember we read in Ephesians chapter 6 verses 12 inasema kwamba we wrestle against the power of darkness do you remember Amen. So una unapewa mamlaka ukiwa na neno. Lakini bila neno ndani yako, tutaulizwa kama watoto wa Skefa. Paulo tunamjua na Yesu tunamjua. Nyinyi ni kina nani? But when you have the word of God in you. Hallelujah. See me the Lord make it grow. Make that word grow in you. So that you may have a time to go and prophesy to the nation. To go and pro- pro- prophesy to the nation and to the kings praise the name of the lord for we are for our struggle is not against flesh and blood but against the rulers against the authorities against the powers of the, this darkness the dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realm praise the name of the lord so when you wrestle amen we wrestle against the powers of darkness not against the flesh and blood see your mwili na damu Amen. Neno na lingine nasema katika Hebrews 4 mstari wa 12. The word of God is a living and active sharper than double edged sword. It 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 penetrates 
even to the joints and marrow. The word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. Hili neno ni kama upanga ukatao kuhiri. Inapo ingia, unapo itoa, inakata kama upanga ukatao kuhiri. Inakato pande hii, inakato na pande mungine. It penetrates even to the dividing soul and spirit. Joints and marrow. Inaingia gandani hata ya, ya, ya nini? Ya mifupa. Amen. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. So speak the word of God. Read the word of God. Benefit from the word of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Unapo soma neno labana. Rita ingia, rita na unapo lisema. Tumepeo ruhusa katika Revelation 10, 11. Tuenende, tukahubirie mataifa. Hallelujah. Umehubiria wangapi. Tumepeo ruhusa. Tuende, tukahubirie wafalme. Amen. Umehubiria wangapi. Umetoa wangapi kutoka gizani. Just as we do the returns by the end of the year. Sababu kira, sikira kazi na return. Hallelujah. Sikira kazi kuna return. So, return ya mwaka hii, utarudisha nimeubiria watu wangapi. Na utambia baba yako. Mbaba, nimereta watu wangapi katika ufalme. May the Lord help us. May the Lord put that word in us. In the name of the Lord. Katika jina la Yesu. Na kuombea ya kwamba. Hiri neno liwe utamu katika mdomo wako. Katika mawazo yako. Katika hata mawazo yako. Katika jina la Yesu. He penetrates like a double-edged sword. In the in your spirit and your joint and marrow. In the name of the Lord. So that you may, you may be able to prophesy to the nation, to the kings, to the, to the kingdom, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I now command you, command you to the, to the word of God, so that may the Lord strengthen you. May that word of God be a joyful to you. Katika jina Yesu. May it strengthen you in the mighty name of Jesus. May it give you peace in your spirit, in your life, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May it give you answered prayers in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Make you be prosperity, prosper and also be successful in the name of Jesus Christ. Above all, may the word of God be sweet and sweet like honey. Katika jina Yesu. Tusimame kwa miguzetu. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Bwana kusaidie ili uweze kuwa na roho ya kusoma neno ili upende neno la Bwana unaposoma neno la Bwana usilare naposoma neno la Bwana usisinzie naposoma neno la Bwana let it never bore you in the name of Jesus but the word of God may make you be joyful be joyful be joyful be joyful oh she yanda mazaya rekere bashanda la mazaya in the name of Jesus Christ, may the word of God make us rejoice. May the word of God make us be joyful. Give us peace, our master, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Tell the Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We shall also stand next week, if God's willing, shall stand how to activate the word of God. Katika jina la Yesu oh now start activating that word Katika jina la Yesu may you receive the joyfulness of the Lord of God may you receive the peace of your mind in the mighty name of Jesus Christ oh Lord we worship you tunakupa sifa baba tuasema ni asante mfalme wa falme tuatangaza na fadhili zako baba yangu asante kwa neno la siku ya leo tumejifunza baba yangu the benefits of reading the word of God. And that's why, dear Lord, we thank you. We worship your name. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. Everlasting Father, we come before your presence. 
to thank you for the teaching of today. We pray, my prayer, dear Father, is that you may make us love the word of God. Make us, dear Lord, love your word. When we need the word of God, the benefits we get, my Father, let nothing, let no barrier, let nothing, King of glory, it is really a born of hammer. It is really a to talk on an akuna akuna soma na la bana kati kaji na raish ni na kupenda na kuwa kudu baba yangu na semani ya santi falwa jabu kwama ano teka na nietu upendo akunde akusoma neno upendo akusoma na la rako in the mighty name of Jesus Christ oh Lord put on that put that spirit of love in the word of God in the name of the Lord Jesus so that dear father we may come out and preach the name word of God katika jina la Yesu Kristo thank you lord thank you lord holy spirit of god i have spoken your word dear father and now dear lord may you help us to activate your word in the mighty name of Jesus Christ may the word lord help people merit to have a benefit in our life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ tutakaposikia neno la kusoma neno lako bwana tusaidie kama vile uliambia mtume Yohana ya kwamba atakapokula lile neno ndani ya tumbo yake itawashawasha ili aende akaitoe akatabiri kwa mataifa akatabubirie wakuwa ma, ma, gizani wafalme wa dunia hii mataifa zote sasa baba yangu na mungu wangu ninaomba katika jina la Yesu tuinue mfalme let your word be swallowed by us oh god twanyenyekea mbele zako kama vile jeremiah alivyonyenyekea na alipoambiwa kule neno lako alimeza na alipoimeza Biblia imetuambia kwamba alijaona furaha nasi tunahitaji furaha ya neno lako bwana tunahitaji furaha mfalme wa ajabu Ezekiel akameza neno lako Biblia inatuambia kwamba alipokula ikula ilikuwa tamu kama asali lakini ilipofika katika tumbo lake ikawashawasha ukamnenea kwamba enenda hubiria mataifa hubiria wana Israeli pengine watasikia baba mtakatifu na mwaminifu hatuwezi enda kuhubiri njema kwa mataifa bila kuwa na neno lako bwana naomba utusaidie may you increase the love of god of reading the word of god of studying the word of god in every situation our father in the mighty name of jesus christ thank you dear lord and our dear father i pray for these brethren even those watching us at youtube and facebook i pray for them that they may be may be urged to read the word of god and to get the benefits of reading the word of god may they my father receive the joy may they receive the strength may they receive the peace of their mind katika jina la yesu make them prosper as you spoke to joshua ukamwambia kwamba usiwache nyuma ili neno lako ili ufanye anawiri na endelee vizuri bwana mtakatifu na mwaminifu naombea kanisa hili na kanisa ambayo natusikiza katika mlinga katika jina la Yesu ya kwamba wanawiri they may be successful they may prosper in the mighty name of Jesus Christ i pray my father for them i commit them before you and by the grace of god may they be strengthened no law build them up our master in the mighty name of jesus christ from today kutiwe na yote ambaye ni mchanga wa kiroho katika jina la yesu naomba neema ya kukoma neema ya kukoma neema ya kukoma katika neno la bwana katika jina la yesu ili sisi zote mfalme tutoke nje tuhubiri neno lako katika jina la Yesu pokeni nguvu jipya 
Pokeni neema ya kukoma, pokeni hii neema ya kusoma neno la Bwana na kulelewa katika jina la Yesu. Natangaza neema hii ikae juu ya maisha yako katika jina la Yesu Kristo Nazareti. Twakupenda tu kwa budu Bwana. Twasema ni asanti. Hili neno la Bwana hata lina uponyaji. Tunaponya nafsi zetu. Rinaponya hata mili zetu. Sasa katika jina la Yesu. Namlisha kila magonjwa. Magonjwa inayoyote ambayo shetani amekutupia. Katika jina la Yesu. Popote mwili na uma ila ni kichwa, iwe ni mugongo, iwe ni viuno, iwe ni tumbo, iwe ni kila aina ya magonjwa. Na itatangazia kwamba tumekula neno la Bwana na neno haliwezi karanisha na magonjwa katika jina la Yesu so neno riingie na magonjwa itoke katika jina la Yesu oh god oh god repress today repress now all oh, the healing power the healing anointing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ kila familia ambaye inapitia katika majaribu ya magonjwa na inenea sasa the grace of God of healing is in the midst of us I now decree and declare that no more sickness is in your home katika jina la Yesu pokeni utukufu wa Bwana pokeni nguvu jipya pokeni uponyaji pokeni kuinuliwa katika jina la Yesu na sio hiyo peke yake pokea the grace of salvation nyumba ambayo Yesu jaingia na kuokoa Bwana natangaza neema ya uokovu katika nyumba ile natangaza neema ya urejesho katika nyumba ile natangaza neema ya kujazwa tena na nguvu jipya za Roho Mtakatifu hiyo neema receive it. receive it. receive that grace receive that anointing and the fire of the holy ghost receive it today pia kwa sababu inaandamana na neno la Bwana asante Jehovah God unajaza watu wako upya unainua watu wako upya unawapa nguvu they shall never struggle again they shall never stumble again they shall never fall again in the mighty name of Jesus Christ receive honor and adoration our redeemer receive all the glory as you did deserve it our master in the mighty name of Jesus Christ oh god oh god shukuru bwana kwa dakika mbili ambia bwana asante ili neno hili likaingie bwana tusaidie kutosahau May the Lord help us to memorize this word. May the Lord help us to take and to eat the word of God and to swallow it in the name of the Lord. Jehovah hatuwezi bila roho yako mtakatifu. May the Holy Spirit of God come down now. Oh, shema ze karama shanda re tererere bozae re masha karaba kanda lineri mazaya likata yando bozekere bazae in the mighty name of God the glory receive all the adoration our redeemer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ pokeni nguvu jipya pokeni neema hii ya kusoma neno la Bwana katika jina la Yesu katika jina la Yesu in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Yes, uko hapo. Sita sawa na kuuliza kwamba uko hapo. Ndio umesikia sauti ya Mungu ikikuita uokoke. Are you there and you desire to be born again? Ndio mkono wako. We pray together. Uko hapo umekaa katika maisha ya dhambi miaka mingi. Na Mungu anataka kuokoa ili ukubarike katika sinzi la lake kubariki katika mambo yote anapofanyia watoto wake hata yana kumbuka wewe wa mwana wake are you there and you want to be born again just shoot your hands high up 
we pray together in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you because of the word of God. The, word, the benefits of the word of God, leading the word of God. Father, help us to say, Dear, we can done yet. Roho wa mungu. Wakupenda kusoma neno rako. Let us, let the word of God never bore us when we are reading it. But let it be a joy in our life. In the name of Jesus. Now, dear Father, naombea watu hawa bwana wa lehema, wiki hii ambaya tunanza si wiki ya maombezi. I commit them to your word. So that, dear Father, you may lead them, O oh God, with your word. Help us, dear Father, to be available. Katika jinera Yesu. Tuamba wiki hii, bwana wa lehema, tunapuanzisha maombezi siku ya jumatatu kesho. Tunaomba katika jinera Yesu. Utusaidie to tap your word, to tap your anointing, and to be joyful because we shall eat your word. In the name of the Lord Jesus. We worship you, God of mercy. We praise you, and we give you honor, glory, and adoration. In Jesus' name we pray. Shout amen.